Confession. I've been on the run for seven and a half years. So I stopped reporting to my parole officer in 2011. I recently had a beautiful baby, and tomorrow I'm turning myself in. I can't be a father if I'm a wanted man. I have 12 years hanging over my head. I've never experienced abject terror before today. I'll never be able to say that sentence again. I'm not sure why I'm even posting. I have a great support network, but I'm still terrified of the consequences, of losing everything, of missing the beginning of my child's life. I don't fear prison. Prison is actually the easiest part of this. When I went to prison the first time, I just didn't care. Now I have everything to lose. I'm stepping off a cliff with no idea where I'll land. There has been concern that I'm going to prison for 12 years. For clarity, 12 years is how much parole I have left. Under state law, six is the max I can receive. More likely, it'll be one to three based on several factors. No new charges, turning myself in, and a new child. First, I want to address the you deserve what you get and you're a terrible person crowd. Trust me, I'm more aware of these facts than you could ever be. I was a coward. Until I walk through those doors tomorrow, I still am a coward. I am a big piece of crap. But with the family and friends I have on my side, I won't be for long. For all the folks wishing me luck, sending me messages, and generally showing empathy to a man undeserving. Thank you from every piece of my heart. Sometimes the internet's not such a bad place. As for updates, my brother has expressed that he will be willing to post them from this account over the next few weeks as the process works itself out. So it won't be me directly, but they'll be here. Finally, to answer a couple of common questions. One, how did you make it seven years? I didn't break the law, kept my head down, and was, for all intents and purposes, barring the esconding, a model citizen. No one ever had a reason to question me. Two, why not stay on the run? This may be hard for someone on the outside to understand, but the life I currently live is a life of constant fear, a purgatory, a half-life. My daughter has made me see that I need more. I need freedom, which may seem contrary to going to prison, but jail or prison is just the first step in a long game plan. One that sees me as a real, model citizen, the best father I can be, and Lord willing, the best husband a woman could hope for. 3. What were your crimes? Like I've mentioned, I am actively avoiding specificity, but the long and short is I committed several crimes over several weeks, and it culminated in me fighting a cop and hurting him when he tried to arrest me. 4. Have you ever talked to the cop and apologized? I have not. I hope to one day, but first things first, it's getting my shit together. An apology from an on-the-run convicted criminal doesn't mean much. 5. What about your wife slash woman? I am hopeful. She seems committed to helping me through this. I hope to make us work but if time has other plans, she will always have my love and respect, both as the mother of my child and the woman who helped me to grow into the kind of man that's ready to face his failures and grow as a human and a parent. That's all I got for now. I might add a final note before I go in tomorrow. 
If not, my brother will update when new news is to be had. Update. This is my final update for a while. In 20 minutes, my attorney is driving me to county. I'm currently holding my daughter while my lady hammers out some details with the lawyer. Thank you all for the well wishes. As strange as it is, Reddit has given me more of the strength I need to do this. The internet sometimes comes through for you. Excuse me for now. I need to cuddle my daughter for the last few minutes I can. That is rough. I can't imagine the fear he must have had to overcome in order to do that. This guy seems like a changed man, somebody that wants to own up to his mistakes and make things right. I respect this dude. And I hope he has a fantastic life after jail. If you're a fan of Dark Confessions, check out our channel, Anonymous Reads. On this channel, we read the most interesting stories from anonymous sources on the internet. Go ahead and like the video and subscribe for more content.